Belarusian cuisine shares many similarities with cuisines of other Eastern, Central, and Northeastern European countries, basing predominantly based on meat and various vegetables typical for the region. History Belarus cuisine has predominantly Slavic roots. Along with a Ruthenian influence, it is also linked with Lithuanian and Polish because of the long intermingling of these three peoples, first within the Grand Duchy of Lithuania 11th-15th centuries and later within the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth 16th-17th centuries. Though the Belarusian nobility, like the Polish elite, borrowed much from Italian, German, and French cuisines, this influence hardly made itself felt in the diet of the peasant majority. Still, some of the borrowed dishes spread throughout the society, such as lasagne, a mixture of flour dumplings and stewed meat, related to Italian lasagna, and, above all, various dishes made of grated potatoes, typical for German cuisine. The political upheavals of the 20th century completely wiped out the former privileged classes and many traditional upper and middle class dishes went down the path of oblivion. The very idea of a separate Belarusian cuisine was treated with suspicion. Only after World War II did it occur to the communist authorities that the proclaimed flourishing of national culture should also be evident in the cuisine. The only source permitted for such a culinary reconstruction was the heritage of the poorest peasants as of the 1880s, a time when primitive rural lifestyle was already on the wane. Chefs were instructed by the party to create the new Belarusian cuisine from scratch. Dish names, recipes, authentic kitchenware, all were reinvented anew, as though ten centuries of history had never existed. Only the sudden advent of independence in 1991 brought an opportunity to restore these lost traditions, and a great deal still remains to be done here. Modern Belarusian cuisine is still heavily influenced by its recent Soviet past, and many local restaurants feature Russian or Soviet dishes rather than true specialties of local cuisine. Some Belarusians may have more interest in Italian, Chinese, and Japanese cuisine than with the careful restoration of their own culinary heritage. However, drainiki both plain and stuffed, dorsk, chaladnik, makanka, zarazi, cold meat rolls, eggs stuffed with mushrooms, halubsi, fried raw pork sausage and blini are likely to be found everywhere, as well as sour rye bread. <laughs> Meals A traditional peasant or merchant's dinner consisted of just two dishes, soup and a main course. A special kind of pot, the sparish, with two compartments, was used by farmers' children to bring lunch to their father working in the fields. Prior to World War II, salads or other snacks were not very common, and recipes based on Russian models tended to appear in modern Belarusian post-war cookbooks. Fresh white cheese and various kinds of cold meats usually smoked were available, however, at least on holidays. Cereals Since wheat does not grow well in a cold and wet climate, Belarusians were always fond of a kind of somewhat sour rye bread, and the most traditional hard drink, the local vodka or harilka Belarusian, garelka was distilled primarily from a rye malt. Like other Slavic peoples, Belarusians could boast of a huge variety of blini pancakes of various thickness, plain and filled, made mostly of wheat or buckwheat flour, but also using oatmeal sadovaki. Various kinds of cereal especially barley, oatmeal and buckwheat were common. Belarus was the likely center of Europe's buckwheat culture, and dishes made with this healthy grain used to be very popular, various kinds of buns, cakes and dumplings which, except for the well-known kasha, no longer exist today. Vegetables The main vegetables were cabbage often made into sauerkraut and beets, while turnips, swedes, parsnip and carrots both stewed and boiled with the addition of a small amount of milk were somewhat less popular. As elsewhere in Europe, legumes were the main source of protein, mainly in the form of cami, puree of peas or beans with melted lard. <laughs> Soups The word soup was not known in Belarus until the 18th century when the nobility borrowed it from German, but soup as a type of dish clearly existed centuries earlier. 
The old word for most traditional Belarusian soups was poliuka Belarusian, poliuka except for those named after the vegetable that was the main ingredient, kapusta cabbage soup, baraki beet soup, grizanka swede soup. For a typical poliuka the major ingredients fish or mushrooms during fasts were first boiled with spices, cereals such as barley or millet were boiled in the stock, and then flour blended with water, bread kvass, beet juice or buttermilk was added to the stock. Black poliuka, made with goose or pork blood, is closely related to the Swedish black soup, svartsopa. Offering a matchmaker black poliuka was the polite way for the bride's parents to decline a young man's proposal. Like the Ukrainians, Russians and Poles, Belarusians are fond of borscht, a thick and rich beet and cabbage soup made with grains, potato and meat. Soups are much more authentic, both hot she, borsk, sorrel soup and especially cold sour soups which provide cooling relief during the hot summer. The Belarusian chaladnik Belarusian, chaladnik a cold borscht made of beets, beet leaves or sorrel and served with sour cream, hard-boiled eggs, and boiled potatoes, has been a popular dish also in Polish and Lithuanian cuisines since the late 18th century. Meat Meat was in rather scarce supply for most people, and was primarily eaten only on the main Christian holidays. Havid consumers of pork, Belarusians are less partial to mutton and beef. Most common was raw pork sausage, a pig intestine stuffed with minced or chopped meat seasoned with salt, pepper, and garlic. Its common name, finger stuffed sausage. Belarusian, kabasa palkam fana or in short palkuka provided a graphic description of the primitive production technology. Kishka Belarusian, kiska or krivyanka Belarusian, krivanka was a local blood sausage Belarusian, krivana kabasa made of pig's blood and buckwheat grain. Skalinza Belarusian, skalinza or kinswik Belarusian, kinzuka particular kind of round sausage made of pig stomach filled with pork minced with spices, a relative of the Lithuanian skilandus, was known throughout the country. Borrowed from Italian cuisine by nobility in the 16th century, cold meat rolls, salsons and balerons were common to all of society by the 19th century, and are still very popular. Smoked goose breast pauguski Belarusian, pauguski a local Belarusian and Lithuanian delicacy, was once the pride of middle-class cuisine, but no longer exists today. Variskaka Belarusian, variskaka an 18th-century thick meat gravy with pieces of meat and sausage used as a dip or sauce for thick pancakes, is still one of the most popular specialties of Belarusian restaurants today, although it is now generally called makanka Belarusian, makanka a dip. Also popular are zarazi, chopped pieces of beef rolled into a sausage shape and filled with vegetable, mushroom, eggs, potato etc. Pork dishes are usually fried or stewed, garnished with cheese or mushrooms. Beef steaks are also quite frequent, but mutton, once very popular, is almost entirely limited to Caucasian or Central Asian restaurants, although still quite a few eat it today. Dumplings Kaldani, small boiled dumplings related to Russian pelmeni and Italian ravioli, were produced in endless combinations of dough, filling and sauce. Especially popular were kaldani Count Tishkovich filled with a mixture of fried local mushrooms and smoked ham. In the late 19th century kaldani began to be made with grated potato rather than with a flour-based dough and, unfortunately, the former huge variety of fillings shrank considerably. Today, kaldani have to struggle vigorously to regain their former popularity, now overtaken by the Russian pelmeni. <inaudible> <inaudible> dairy products The main dairy products include a kind of fresh white cheese Belarusian, tavarog and sour cream Belarusian, smetana which is widely used both in cooking and as a garnish. Only in the mid-19th century was fermented cheese Belarusian, seer borrowed from the Netherlands and Switzerland, and the local version of Edam was very popular for decades in the Russian Empire. Sour butter from the former Jisna County was exported to England, where it continued to be the most expensive variety up to World War I today, however, these traditions have become a thing of the past. Beverages. <inaudible> <inaudible> 
The traditional hard drink is vodka or harilka Belarusian, garelka including varieties made from birch sap Birozovic, Belarusian, Birozovic or flavored with forest herbs Zubrivka, Belarusian. Zubrivka. Mead and similar alcoholic drinks made of honey and spices were very common up until the 19th century and then more or less disappeared until the latest revival of the national cuisine. A notable example in this group is Krambambula Belarusian, Krambambula vodka diluted with water, mixed with honey, and flavored with spices nutmeg, cinnamon, cloves, red and black pepper. In the 18th century this drink competed with French champagne in Belarus and only wealthy people could afford it. Today it is enjoying a popular revival, as is evident from the appearance of Krambambula recipes and histories on the internet. Kvass traditionally was and still remains the main local non alcoholic drink, although it is increasingly made with sugars and artificial flavorings rather than with genuine rye malt and natural flavorings. Kompot is also a relatively popular beverage, normally made of dried or fresh fruit, boiled, and then cooled. Every small town boasts a local variety of mineral water. Belarusians prefer carbonated water. Tea traditional liquid desserts that accompany a meal include saladucha Belarusian, saladuha a thick liquid made of rye flour and honey that was popular in the 18th century, and kissel, the traditional jelly drink of Eastern Europe made from the pulp of forest berries or cooked fruits, originally thickened with oatmeal now replaced by potato starch flour or cornstarch. Minority cuisines Belarusian cuisine owes much to Jewish cooking. In the 19th century, Jewish influence was especially noticeable in bringing in potato dishes of German origin, such as babka. This was a two-way gastronomic street, for the famous bulbi latkes, the potato pancakes of the East European Jews, may have been borrowed from the Belarusian draniki. Another important minority ethnic group which influenced Belarusian cuisine were the Lipka Tatars, whose Tatar cuisine was especially strong in various cakes with fillings, mutton and vegetable dishes. Potatoes <inaudible> 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 The potato became so common in 19th century, there are some 300 plus dishes recorded in Belarus, that it came to be considered the core of the national cuisine. In the Soviet Union, Belarusians were sometimes called bulbashi, a pejorative conjugation of the Belarusian word for potato. <laughs> <laughs> Salads Typical salads are made of a fairly short list of ingredients, endless combinations of boiled beef or chicken, potato, beet, carrot, apple, herring, diced cheese, canned peas and corn, canned fish, crab fingers, onions and mushrooms, and are generously seasoned with mayonnaise or sunflower oil. One of the most typical local salads is the Balea Veza salad named after the Balea Veza forest, which combines boiled chicken meat with fried mushrooms, onions, and pickled cucumbers, mixed with mayonnaise and garnished with chopped hard-boiled egg. Fresh vegetable salads are also widely available, tomatoes also mixed with cucumbers and onions seasoned with sour cream, radishes with dill and sunflower oil or sour cream shredded cabbage salad seasoned with sunflower oil or mayonnaise similar to coleslaw, pickled cabbage with caraway seeds or cranberries with onions seasoned with sunflower oil. Fish. Historically, Belarusians had little access to seafood, and this is still evident in the cuisine. The most common sea fish after herring, which has been the most common appetizer all along the Baltic coast and its vicinity ever since the 14th century are hake and cod and there are relatively few dishes with such fish. Much more traditional and common are lake fish, notably zander, cooked in endless ways, and carp especially the famous stuffed carp, the gefilt fish of Jewish cuisine. Eels, smoked or stuffed, are the specialty of the lake country in the northwestern part of Belarus, adjacent to Latvia and Lithuania. <inaudible> Side dishes Side dishes are usually boiled, fried or mashed potatoes, buckwheat kasha, rice or pasta. Meat dishes are frequently served with blini or draniki stacked in round clay pots. <inaudible> 